Hello, Papa Dog and I are making a video together. Yes, it is a cozy afternoon and we enjoy our togetherness every single second and moment of it. And we cherish all these seconds and split seconds of our existence together. We are together forever, Papa Dog. When Papa Dog goes, Mama goes too. Papa Dog and I forever brought together by the Blue God. That's the Blue God. And Papa Dog one time, he sat in front of this painting. When it was still in the beginning, he sat right there where the green formation is. That's Kenny. And he sat there and he stared and stared and stared at that painting. And I was coming up the stairs. He was in here alone by himself. I was coming up the stairs and I saw him sitting there and staring at that painting and at the formation of Kenny, the blue god. And I was absolutely amazed about this. So there's a lot more going on than we see with our bare eyes and our senses, our sense perception. You know, our sense perception actually takes in more but it gets screened inside the brain. There is a formation in the brain that's called the discrimination ribbon. And this discrimination ribbon, discovered by Dr. Hindak Emrich at Medizinische Hochschule Hannover, Germany, and he was doing research on people who had overdosed and drugged themselves sick with hallucinogenic drugs. And so that's how he found out about that region in the brain. And we find regions in the brain and their functions through pathology and through injuries and so on. I remember Professor Doctor, Doctor, two doctors, Monika Pritze at University Landau, <coughs> Germany, where I study. She was my professor and she was talking to us about all of these different injuries that happened in the course of history and how they were able to establish the different regions in the brain and their functions because of those incidents. Otherwise, they would not have known so much. So it's they discover those things gradually more and more and more through those type of unforeseen things. So, Papa Dog, what is it now? What are you trying to say? What is Papa Dog trying to say? Huh? What is it? Huh? Papa Dog, what are you? What are you saying? What do you want to do? Hmm? What does Papa Dog want? To, what does Burrito Leg want to do? Hmm? What does he do? You want to go outside? What is it? He wants attention, I think. A lot of attention. Yes. A lot of attention. <laughs> There's a lot of excess skin here. Yes, a lot of excess skin. Yes, it is a lot. And the, the hair is, I call the hair denim. That's my jeans material. <laughs> because of the these individual white hairs in between that makes it look like washed out denim. Yes, Papa Dog, yes, 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 yes. So, so cute. Yes, such a nice booty. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yes. So much jitter pudding is there. Oh, yeah. And that feels good. Yes, what Dr. Robert Sapolsky said, you know, it, it makes us develop oxytocin in the brain, yes, in his brain and in Mama's brain too, yes, 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 baby, yes, my love, <laughs> and the tail is wagging. Yes, the tail is wagging. Yes. 
Yes, 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 brother dog. You are so gorgeous. You look at this gorgeous guy. Look how gorgeous he looks. Yes, yeah, so big and so heavy. Yes, 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 yes. Look at that gorgeous guy. My Easter bunny is that. Yes, oh, it's so gorgeous. Papa dog, and I also call him my cartoon tiger because of this this pale belly and the way the, the way everything is nicely colored and painted. He's pure artwork. That's what he is. <laughs> my pure artwork is that. Yes, that is living artwork. So I actually wanted to make a video. I wanted to talk about how what would happen if an intellectual man, let's say about 35, oh, let's say he's six foot tall, and let's say he's very strong built and everything, and very trim and very slender and very gorgeous looking, and rich and everything going for him. What would happen if that man would want a chubby woman? And what would happen if he overcame his self image and actually took that chubby woman out into public with him? Like to some kind of convention or meeting or art gallery and or some kind of dinner party from a friend where everyone is slender every single person is slender it looks like Barbies and he would bring along this really plump chubby chick what would happen then I just want to know. I mean, let's say let's say she likes to talk about Friedrich Nietzsche. Yeah, I just wanted to know. That's a question I'm going to leave in open air now. So, you guys take care. Bye-bye.